Hi everyone, my name is Olivia and welcome to this channel where I talk about Rizzo art and all sorts of things. In this video, we show you the process for putting together this perfect bound Rizzo book. So perfect bound Rizzo books are not something we usually put together in this studio because this is a very small studio and so we have a very limited capacity to do large runs as well as we don't have a perfect binding machine. So I show you the process for first of all printing the files and organizing the files and then afterwards this studio actually has to outsource a lot of the finishing to other print shops and binderies so that we can come up with a wonderful finished product. So this book is 120 pages, which means 15 sheets of paper. So this is everything we have to collate. Alright everyone, so as you saw, we finished printing and collating the books and now I'm at the place where I'm going to get these collated pages cut. So I'm going to get that done and I'll see you in a bit. So we got the cut pages back from the printer, so let's take a look at what they look like. Let's open this up. And... Alright, so it looks like they did that well. Here are all the marks. So they cut it right on the mark. So the next step would be to put them in order and then check the order of the pages with the file. When we collated them, they were already in order. Technically, we should just be able to collate four stacks and everything should be in order. But in the process of checking the four stacks, we realized that these two were actually not laid out correctly and so these are flipped, so we have to flip them as we are collating. But I think that's still a lot better than collating 30 individual sheets, which is what these two stacks are gonna be made of. This is from start to finish, a labor of love. From Kyle making the artwork and from me doing the best I can to print this and organize this properly and get this off to the bindery and make amazing looking books. 
So that's one whole book block. So I'm just going to show you the basics for how we laid out the pages of this book on this one large sheet of tabloid sized paper. So as you can see, you can fit four sheets of this book on one large sheet of tabloid sized paper. And in order to save on materials and cost, that's what we decided to do rather than just printing two sheets to one large sheet of tabloid sized paper. I hope that makes sense. So you have to take into consideration that the screen doesn't print all the way to the edge of a tabloid size sheet. It's actually a little bit smaller than that. And if you need more information, please watch my All About Rizo video where I explain the size of the sheets. And it's also in my booklet basics video. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna put an X into the areas where we don't think that the Rizo can reach. So when I divide the sheet into four, you have to take into consideration that you have to center each sheet of this book into this area. First of all, you're gonna need to leave a binding edge because as you can see, the glue, it causes the page to go into the binding. So you have to give it enough room because if you don't give it enough room, it's going to go into the binding where the glue is and you're not gonna be able to read it. So you just wanna give it about a quarter of an inch if possible. So as you can see, that edge is going almost into the binding. So when we put together this book, we made sure that no important text is close to the binding edge as well as the trimming edges. So you always wanna leave enough space for trimming and binding. So everything is readable. And actually there's this one spread that takes advantage of that because it's a full page spread. So this full page spread actually takes into consideration that some of the art is going into the binding and I think it takes advantage of that limitation really well. So as you can see, there's almost no break. If this is the binding edge, well we already know that the Rizzo can't print on this edge. So we decided to take advantage of that and so when you put page one here, you can still print up to this area, but number one is gonna go in to the binding. So this is not gonna be seen anyway, and the Rizzo can't print that far anyway. So this is a good place to put page one. So to make our lives easier, because we don't have a collating machine, what we did was we just made sure that when we laid out the pages, we can cut them and they will already be partially collated. So the way to do that is to put page one here, and then of course you have to put page two behind page one. So that's page one, page two. Then instead of putting page three and four here, five and six here, seven and eight here, what we did was we just put page three also on the same side as page one, and then four is on the other side of page three. And then, as you can see, that's page one, and then two, page three and four. And then we put page five here. And six here. So 
So then let me just fill out the rest of these pages so that you can see more of what I mean because we're going to just cut this and I'm going to show you how we were able to reduce the number of points of collation. Twelve. Twelve should be behind page eleven. We ended with twelve and I'm just going to start now on the back of the sheet of paper so that my binding edge is still on the left side and I'm just going to do page 13 here. So let's trim the stack of paper and I'll show you how we collated it. So as you can see, we've just quartered this stack of paper. So the way we are going to collate this is we are going to do page one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So this stack, we can just put it on top of this stack. And then the last page is 13, right? So we can just flip this over and collate this stack on top of this stack. And then the last page is 18, so we can just flip this stack and collate this whole stack on top of this stack. So we can just collate four stacks on top of each other. The alternative to that would have been to print each quarter sheet and lay out each of the stacks of ones, threes, fives, sevens, nines, elevens, and then just individually collating one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven over 200 times. All right, so for Kyle's 120 page book, that means that it would have needed 60 of these sheets double sided. And so we printed four of those on a large tabloid size sheet of paper double sided, which means 15 tabloid size sheets of paper double sided. So instead of collating all the small individual sheets of paper on top of each other, we collate the 15 large double sided sheets on top of each other and then sent that off to be cut. And then once they've been quartered, we then collated the quartered collated stacks on top of each other to reduce the amount of collating touch points. So I've just done the calculation and for us to collate 60 of these sheets 200 times, that would have involved 12,000 collating touch points, which is ridiculous. And so for us to be able to just collate 15 large sheets 200 times, that would have been 3,000 collating touch points. And then once it's been quartered, we just collate the quarters on top of each other, which means that would have been another 800 collating touch points for a total of 3,800 collating touch points versus 12,000. So you can see how doing it that way and working with your artist to lay it out that way for a perfect binding book that is a lot of pages is just much more efficient than doing it this way. All right, so one last important thing before I forget. So this is page seven quartered, right? So you wanna make sure you also give it margins all around because this, this, and this is going to get trimmed out to make sure your pages are all even. So your sheets are actually going to look more like this. You want to make sure that when you lay out your pages, you put bleeds and appropriate edges on all sides of your sheet of paper because the left side is going into the binding edge whereas the top, right, and bottom sides are gonna get trimmed. So yeah, for a small studio with very limited equipment, these are just some of the things that we have to work with. All right, so we finished collating the books and now I'm packing them into boxes as you can see right there. And after that, I have to bring them down to the car all by myself. And how am I to accomplish that without a hand truck? Well... Oh my gosh, I had to do that super quick. All right. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, I gotta do this really quick.
right, everyone. It's time to drive these boxes to the bindery. The bindery is really far. It's about 80 kilometers, so I guess it's going to be a journey. I've downloaded my podcasts and I'm ready to go. Stars, I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. No, nothing can break me. All right, everyone, so I just picked up the boxes and I have some samples here with me and they look so amazing. I am so excited for Kyle to see them. Oh my God. All right, so I just opened up a box and that's what the books look like. They are so beautiful. The binding is so great. It looks amazing and I love that they score this area so that when you open it, you don't crease the cover and the pages are so great and nothing is getting cut off and I think that nothing is too far into the spine. I think that's still very, very readable. So I really, really love the work. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's so big. Oh well, I mean, God. I mean, they're like this size. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, this is like thickness wise. Like they're so like, that's so legit. It's, wow. oh my God, it's so legit. Mm -hmm. And it feels like really heavy because the paper yeah. is heavy and, um, Look at the, it's like cream, right? On the inside. Okay, um, oh my God. You wanna see? Yes. <laughs> oh, the video went low quality now. Oh my <laughs> God. Quality video. Wait, what happened to the video quality? It went down? Okay. It went down. Okay. It was so good to start. And All right, now, okay, like, okay. Oh, it got better, it got better. Okay, it got better? Okay, 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 okay. okay. here. Yeah. It oh looks so god. good. Oh my god. The fluorescent, like the flashback yeah. scene is incredible. Oh my god. The spread that you have here is... Oh my god, look. It's so pretty. Yeah. Oh my god. And plus like... um, so nice. And the alignment. Like you know how it's going yeah. into the spine? And it looks so <laughs> great because of the gap that we left in the middle. So actually you don't yeah. see that gap. And the binders were a little bit worried that they were kind of going a little bit into the pages. But honestly, yeah. I feel like that is fine. It kind of feels fine. It like, especially on pages like this where like the pa the panels kind of like are meant to like bleed across. That's yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is like, one yeah. Like here, see like that. Yeah. Ooh, that pink. Yeah. And also Ooh, like, pink. even like the first page, I told them to align the bars, right? So they did that. Yeah. Oh, perfect. And yeah, so do I you was wanna, wondering how that was going to match up. Do you like want, my bar, I, told, to do it. I told them to align it, so they did. <laughs> and then, and then also, like, um, you know how the ending, like, you know how this was so light to begin with, and now, like, they look so good, see? Oh no, Derek, bring him over. I want to say hi to him. Hi, Derek. Hi, Derek. You're supposed to uh, come over and look at these books. But you're going to be on my YouTube channel. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Oh my god, Derek, I haven't seen you in so long. How are you doing? Oh my god, I'm doing really good. Oh, I was just showing him some of the pages. I was just like flipping through the pages like that. Paper, like the paper color? Yeah, the, like, yeah it's the like, cream like, on the inside. Yeah, I really like that paper tone. Yeah, and this looks so good. That's sweet. Oh, this is also really good. Oh my god. I just love these panels. I mean, this is also so nice. Like that. Yes. You got that oh, soft like pink going on. The sky. Yeah. So they even scored the the cover along here. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Oh, but they nice. scored it That's on the front nice. and the back. See that? That's a really nice touch. Because then um, when you open it, it won't crease. So you can open it this way. Yeah. See? Yeah. 
so oh, so they also right. so they also did that. Oh, Kyle just said, uh, I don't, I don't remember something. Uh, I said, I said, thanks for hooking me up with a great printer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. my gosh. Well, I hope I hope I did your project justice. I know it's been a year. You've worked on this for a whole year. <laughs> it's so nice seeing the two of you. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Likewise. All right. Yeah, it's great seeing you. Too. Amazing seeing the books. I can't wait till I get them. Thank uh, you. I should, let, I should let you get off to your weekend. Thank you so much for all the work you put in. It's been, uh, oh my god. Yeah, this oh project couldn't have happened without you. So thank you so much. Yeah. Oh no, no worries. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Two. Dana. Dana. <laughs> okay. So Show off this. The paint. This pink, though. Look at this. This Hi. is gorgeous. I have more books. There's more books. There's more books. There's more books. Oh. This though. This though. Our flashbacks. Our flashbacks go to. Ooh. All right. So nice. Um. Someone says, "Hey, Kyle. Why don't you answer your phone?" C train. Oh, it's because the phone is currently being used oh, to do live recording. Yeah, I was looking for it. I'm like, oh, it's staring at me. Uh, oh, they are going to be $30. I see you, Hot Donna. YYC, the one, the only Hot Donna. They will be $30 available at Shelf Life Books in limited quantities. So if you like this version, make sure you get it because after these are all gone, they'll never be out again. Yeah, we'll be doing... Uh, if you At do least this, this version uh, will never be out This again. version, yeah. um, the Rizo edition is a uh, one-time deal. Then following that with Renegade Arts Entertainment, we'll be putting out a Renegade. standard edition, yeah. which is going to come available November 6th. November 6th, 2019. So that's several months uh, in between. <laughs> if you want to read it now, you got to get these guys. If you want to read it now. Like I am. Yeah. You've literally disappeared. I'm, I'm here alone. Like, oh. I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no